Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid My DNA, the home of everything Madridistas as we discuss you through Real Madrid's latest and important update. Kickstarting with today's agenda, Real Madrid superstar Vinicius Jr. sends public praises to Borussia Dortmund star winger Jadon Sancho courtesy of Wednesday night impressive and explosive performances against Paris Saint-Germain in the UEFA Champions League semi-finals first leg. We are going to be bringing you full updates on that in this episode as we progress and though shortly after that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Real Madrid could now count on Thibaut Courtois following injury recovery. We are also going to be bringing you full updates on that in this episode as we progress, so please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. Borussia Dortmund made a crucial stride in their bid to reach the UEFA Champions League finals by securing a first leg win over Paris Saint Germain on Wednesday night. The German Giants won the home leg at the Signal Iduna Park 1 0, though the club could have easily scored a few more. One of Dortmund's main protagonists in their hard fought win over Paris Saint Germain was none other than Jadon Sancho, the player who was completely ostracized by Manchester United not long ago. Sancho produced a memorable display on the right flank versus Paris Saint Germain. He was a constant threat for the opposition backline, with Nuno Mendes in particular struggling to keep up with him. The Englishman ended the game with 12 successful dribbles, which is quite impressive, especially in the Champions League semi-finals. In addition to his dribbles, Sancho created a few crucial goal-scoring opportunities which were ultimately wasted by the Borussia Dortmund attackers. Shortly after Dortmund's win over Paris Saint-Germain, Real Madrid superstar Vinicius Junior heaped praises on Jadon Sancho for his display on the night. Vinicius commented on Sancho's Instagram post, writing in the comment section, What a player! This is not the, for the first time that Vinicius Junior has complimented other players across Europe, even if they are involved in the same competition as Real Madrid. It underscores Vinicius' confidence and mentality to always admire the sports. Perhaps that is why the forward has been hugely successful at Real Madrid and could play a key role when Los Blancos take on Bayern Munich in the second leg of their own semi-final style next week Wednesday at the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu. With Dortmund now emerging victors over Paris Saint-Germain in the first leg, they are now the surprising package and favorite to make it to Wembley where the finals will be played on the 1st of June. Borussia Dortmund will look to show off their fine display against when they take on Paris at the Parc des Princes with their hugely defensive success in the first leg aimed to be replicated in the second leg tie. On the other side of the draws, Real Madrid will be taking on Bayern Munich in the second leg as well. Bayern will only have the UEFA Champions League this season as the only realistic opportunity of winning silverware with a relatively poor performance in the domestic level, losing the Bundesliga title to Bayern Leverkusen for the first time in 11 years, also losing the cup tie to a third division team side. Real Madrid will be looking to capitalize on their opportunities of playing in front of the home fans at the closed Bernabeu Stadium. There is no opponent as dangerous in Europe as Real Madrid playing in front of their fans, as the Merengues will also look to make their way all the way to Wembley and secure a record 15 European title. So it is left to be seen which two teams among the current four progresses to the finals at Wembley with all to play for in the second leg of each tie. So having discussed and concluded with that, we will quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Real Madrid could now count on Thibaut Courtois 
following injury recovery. Thibaut Courtois has not played a single minute of official football for Real Madrid this season, as the Belgian shortstopper suffered an ACL injury in pre-season before a minuscule issue in April ruled him out of action for an additional duration. Courtois was agonizingly close to making his return to action and was touted to be available from the Champions League quarterfinals, but it was not to be following a fitness relapse. Sources have informed Madrid Universal that the former Atletico Madrid and Chelsea shortstopper is set to be available when Real Madrid play against Cardiff in the upcoming weekend La Liga round. Ancelotti announced that the player could make his much-awaited return against the Andalusians and having started to train with the rest of the teammates, Courtois is expected to future on Sunday night. The player on his part was calm when asked about returning to action while also instilling in confidence in Andre Lonin, who is expected to roll flawlessly. Lonin has been phenomenal for Real Madrid this season and is set to renew his contract until 2028 with on only an official announcement pending. The Ukrainian international has helped the White maintain the best defensive record in the league and have proven instrumental in their Champions League knockout matches too. Against German side Arbe Leipzig, he was the man of the match with an impressive 9 saves in the first leg and then made several saves including two penalties in the shootout as Los Blancos reached the semi-finals of the competition at the expense of current champions Manchester City. Lonin would rightly feel hard done by Ancelotti if Courtois, who is just returning from injury, finishes the season as the manager's primary choice despite all the good work he has done. Thibaut Courtois is already discounted from the Belgian Euro 2024 squad by Domenico Tedesco and must not be risked by Real Madrid after he has undergone two surgeries in less than a year. He is perhaps the best goalkeeper in the world nevertheless and it remains to be seen where Ancelotti's preference lies if Real Madrid make the Champions League final, keeping in mind that Courtois was the man of the match in the 2022 edition against Liverpool where he made some stunning saves to particularly ensure that Real Madrid were champions on the night. Thibaut Courtois has been reported to be the starting goalkeeper against Cavies when Real Madrid take on the Andalusian club later this Saturday. His performances will be evaluated in such a game before the manager even thinking about starting him in either the one left or two Champions League games of the season. So I haven't discussed and concluded with that, we have come to the end of this interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, turn on notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.